Hey guys. Hello everyone. Hello beautiful souls. Hello YouTube. What is up everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Empress Be Goddess. It's me, Bella. I hope everyone is doing well. You know, I like to say yesterday is gone. Kick that energy to the curve. Tomorrow is unknown. Tomorrow is not promised. You are in the present right now. This is a beautiful gift. Just remain in the highest frequency that you can remain in and just trust in the most high. Trust in your own self and your own intuition at this time. You know, just be very thankful for, for what you have without comparing that to someone else. Let's get right to it. I want to bust down some of this tarot. Um, and we are doing a general message. So I am just going to allow myself to be guided. Um, we can get messages about money. We can get messages in regards to love. All signs are welcome. We could get uh, messages about career, any warning, any um, anything that you may need to know at this time. Uh, you can be messages from your spirit guides can can come in, you know, loved ones, your higher self, and um, your spirit guides. We may find out if you have any spirit animals. Let's see if we get any synchronicity numbers that are coming in. And when you see in the synchronicity numbers, those are angel numbers. Look them up. Those are messages from the universe as we are all awakening in this era of the age of Aquarius. So this is the golden age at this time. We are in darkness right now. We will um, ascend to 5D Earth. Everyone won't ascend to 5D Earth. But those on the higher frequencies, um, those that are manifesting towards me, star seeds that are manifesting to, to, uh, towards me, soul families, and that is what's happening right now. People are, um, there is a division that's happening and there's an agenda that is purposely trying to divide us. But on a universal level, on a spirit level, we are separating from those that are remaining in the lower energies and are choosing with free will to not ascend to um, a higher frequency. When you're in your highest frequency, uh, lower beings cannot reach you. And this, when I say beings, I'm literally talking about beings, things that are not, things that are unseen to the human eye. But I'm also speaking about human beings that, you know, whether you are getting uh, gaslight, whether you are um, being attacked, whether you are being bullied, made being made fun of, being shunned. Whether uh, if you're the black sheep of the family and everybody has always called you crazy, you are ascending. You are the empath. You are separating yourself from things that no longer serve you. Things that if it doesn't feel natural, it doesn't feel right. Things are starting to uh, give you any type of uh, anxiety or any type of uh, heart palpitations. Things that just don't feel comfortable to you. Your spirit, your soul is separating you on the physical and we're moving away from that. So that's we're going to see these energies that's happening right now. Um, everyone, you're going to hear a lot of people speaking about the uh, Mercury retrograde. A lot of things also is the perception that you put out to something. So what you make, whatever you give attention to and you give awareness to is what also can affect you. So if there was something, um, I, I don't know if I could just really give any examples, but if there was just something that really turned you off or was troubling to you and you just didn't pay attention to it, you just wouldn't be aware of it. You know, if you are just not somebody that's not into gossiping, you know, you're not into stabbing people in the back and you're not into, you know, um, using people you're going to not be around that. So you're not even going to see it. Okay. So I want to call in Holy Spirit at this time, Divine Mother, Divine Father. I want to call in the purest, highest, uh, infinite 
unconditional love and light is surrounded around me and it's surrounded about around you viewer that is watching i want to call an archangel michael and with his sword he can cut away anything that is evil anything that is dark anything that tries to come forth to me anyone trying to send me ill will try to send me envious or hate it is transmuted back to the sender 10 times in the same for you viewer that is watching you are guy you are highly 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 protected as i am highly highly protected so we're going to bust down this tarot i uh, i am going to do some um oracle from the sake from the sacred travelers i am going to read from that book i'll do the moonology we'll see what kind of time we have as as we go as i am guided so thank you thank you thank you thank you beloved thank you spirit as i clear this out you know i did um smudge with with um my sage earlier it felt so good i love the smell of sage i was really quickly i did want to just light some Palo Santos, um, just for the viewer watching, just to clear that energy. You know, and these are really, really, really strong. You can get them from the Botanica. Okay, these are really, really clear that energy, and that energy is all cleared out for me. It's cleared out through uh, my cards. Thank you, beloved. Clear up my hands. Just so I have the highest frequency that I call in. The most high Christ. I am highly, highly protected and highly guided. And I'm here to just deliver this message. Go get some water. Some tea, coffee. It's Monday. No judgment here. Get a beer. Get some wine. I kind of want to mind some wine right now. You know, get a shot. Get something to drink. Um, so we're going to get into the tarot right now. And just see what messages Spirit wants to bring through. Let me kind of give myself some space here. Thank you guys again for being here. If you are vibing with my energy and you like these videos, you want more videos, let's build this channel together. We are tribe, soul family. You know, you want to connect with those Aolites, people that's on the same frequency as you to heal and just, um, you know, become the better you. The better you that you can become. You know, and with all things, everything you cannot do by yourself. So I'm hearing already that people are wanting to do projects together. People are wanting to work together. So that is going to come in for you. There's a teacher that is going to come in for you. If you're looking for a spiritual teacher. Um, I'm hearing real estate, property, land, planting seeds growing things so these these are things that you are manifesting at this time you know certain things that you are trying to build and grow you don't need to share with every single body you know sometimes we get so excited when uh we get an idea or we find something new that we learned or some new information sometimes it's okay to just sit on that ponder on it you know, sleep on it, you know, kind of um, fill your own cup up first before you just wanting to go out and give everybody your water, meaning your knowledge, meaning your energy. Okay, beautiful, 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 beloved, beautiful spirit. What messages do we have for the collective of viewer watching at this time? We'll just see how many cards come out i hope everyone is really doing well this reading is timeless it is general so everything may not resonate take what does you know leave what doesn't always i say come back a lot of my premonitions a lot of my visions are something that um i may see it a little further out um so for even for me 
I may get a dream or I may get a vision and it's just like, you know, what was that? And then literally next week or, you know, um, someone will come to me or a client or someone, you know, that, that I'm, I'm helping spiritually will, you know, say something and then it actually comes together and it actually clicks. All right. So I, oof, I have quite a few that I'm just going to take right now. And we'll just see the messages that, that are coming out. So we have, excuse me if my shirt's coming down. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm hearing that individuals are really trying to work on their finances. They're really trying to figure out, um, you know, where is certain money going to come from next. Or I'm hearing individuals that you're moving money around it's also um the message that i'm hearing is it's time for you to not be so um stressed out about your money you know if you're paying yourself first when you get your paycheck if you want to call it the 10 percent, if you want to call it the tides you pay yourself first put that money away this way you are able to do other things um, because stressing over this money is actually bringing a block to you as far as manifesting something else. Also, what I'm hearing is, you know, don't compare yourself to where you are now, depending on your age or depending on what your career is. It's really important for you to have a better um, understanding and a better relationship with money at this time that is um, conducive to you and, and what you're doing. Um, have, having that thought pattern of, I wasted so many years, you know, I, I've been doing a, a, a dead end job or, you know, I've been spending money. You know, I've gotten all of, um, excuse me, all right, here goes these hiccups, so excuse me. You know, uh, you've been spending a lot of money, you've been partying, and you feel like, you know, you have wasted a lot of time, and you are feeling um, a pressure that you should have a certain amount of money right now. So, you know what, you're going to just have to let that go and start where, where you are right now, you know. I'm hearing get um, any type of financial books, you know, the at least or or Google, you know, a financial plan, and if you can, go see a financial advisor. Okay, um, then we have the emperor. So this is a high powerful energy that that you are in that you're trying to see yourself to be in. You're wanting to have this generational wealth. You're wanting to really um, reestablish or establish some sort of property or some sort of business, some sort of land. And you're taking this stance where you're being a lot more serious than you used to. Also, I'm hearing this type of uh, figure is actually coming into your life to assist you with doing that um so but you also want to just be careful again just have discernment you know anybody that's wanting to work with you financially you always want to see what their credentials are you want to do their you want to do your due diligence you want to do that background check and you also want to um get any type of referrals okay so this is if you're going to anybody all right we have the four of cups I was trying to, I thought I got that in the light before. Okay, maybe we don't see that. But there's messages coming from the divine. There's messages coming from your higher self. If you want to call it God, you want to call it source, where if you were really not trying to hear that, you were really blocking off this information that was coming to you, you know, the universe is really trying to give you these abilities and they're trying to give you these gifts and understanding that 
you already have the talent that you need to financially change your circumstances, you know, and you really have to get out of that energy of feeling like that you're not enough. And you have to get out of that energy of feeling like, you know, you, you can't make something happen, um, literally from lemons, you know, it's, it's a time to be an alchemist. It's a time to take what you have and really, um, turn that into something significant. So if that means, you know, sacrificing and taking the class or getting a certificate cer certification in something, or if that, if that means, you know, just really investing in yourself. Now is the time that, you know, um, your ancestors, the universe, your spirit guides are really trying to give this to you. You may be seeing these synchronicities that the time is now, you know, if you're feeling this energy of this just doesn't, you know, I just don't love where I'm at right now. It's time to receive what is being given to you, you know, and even if it's in a small if it's a small increment, it, it's an energy of doing something one day at a time will make something grow. You know, um, you know, if you previously had this great idea and maybe you started it and it just blew up or it did not pan out the way you wanted it to pan, uh, I'm hearing you put it down. You kind of just put it to the side. It's collecting dust somewhere. It's time to blow that dust off. It's time to, you know, put the big girl panties on, put the big boy drawers on, and get back to the drawing board. You are being uh, supported in this area of what this is. Then we have the Eight of Wands. So it looks like you know, your spirit guides are telling you, you don't need to be defensive about, you know, what this is that, that you want to do and that what you are manifesting. I'm also hearing from this is two ways that now you are in the energy that you need to fight. You need to fight for what is yours. You need, and that is even if this battle is with yourself. I mean, forget it if you have other people doubting you. If you have your own self doubting you, You've already lost. You've already defeated the, the whole purpose. Um, so if you're in this defensive energy where you really can't take criticism, you know, um, you're not willing to put yourself out there to hear a bunch of no's. You know, you got to sometimes you got to hit them 99 no's to get that one yes. OK, and that is the message that is coming to you. Because you're going to be in a celebration. This will bring, this is the three of cups. So this will be bringing a celebration and coming together and working together with individuals and partners with the three of cups. Um, you could be reconciling with, with somebody that, you know, you may have had a falling out in the past. Listen, people do change. People do evolve and people do grow. So if this is something that you guys tried to do before and you're trying to come back and do it again. It, there's nothing, it, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to at least be open to it, be receptive to it, go to the table and just see what the offer is. Whether you choose um, to take that or not is entirely, entirely up to you. Again, it's Mercury retrograde. So a lot of things from the past is coming back up. And this is going to be in all types of forms. I think the Mercury retrograde is into October 19th. I could be wrong. Somebody, you could tell me in the comments. But, um, but yeah, there could be a lot of celebration where if this really pans out and you really succeed, there's individuals that want to uh, support you and they want to celebrate with you at this time. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So that's the abundance that's coming in. And I'm hearing, because I think there's 
multiple energies. This is a general reading. So I'm allowing spirit is, is letting me know there's multiple people that's going to hear this, especially as, as it grows and you can come back to it. The Ten of Pentacles is the individuals who have in the last few years have been manifesting this, have been sacrificing, have been doing the work behind the scenes. You know, sometimes when you see people successful, you don't ever see what they did in the lab. You don't see the nights that they stayed up. You didn't see the nights that they didn't eat, the nights that they ate uh, ramen noodles because they wasn't going to spend all their money on you know, uh, crab legs and lobsters just because they got a check. They put that money into their business and they really was doing the work. So you that is resonating with this and you're doing the work, you're seeing it a little bit, but it's not really in uh, the full fruition that you want to see it in. Th this is what your spirit guides, and this is what the universe is saying, that your Ten of Pentacles is, is coming to you. You know, the seeds that you're planting are healthy, you know, and sometimes you can s judge something by the fruit of the tree. Let's just just think about that. If there, if there's a if there's something that's rotten, I don't care how you try to mask it or you try to make it look good and you're trying to make it for the gram. It's not. This Ten of Pentacles is you know who you are. You know the work that you've been putting in. And when I say the work, it's physical work, but it's also you've changed your mindset. It's also you've tapped into a passion within your heart that this is something that you really want to do for yourself. This is really your passion, you know, and if you're somebody that's in between doing the work, kind of, you know, falling back a little bit, not, you know, not really sure, not really a hundred percent confident, that is fine. Also pick that momentum back up right now at this time especially if this is a time where things is in uh, Mercury retrograde, use this energy, you know, maybe turn your phone off at a certain time, turn the TV off, whatever, turn whatever distractions off. And if you're somebody that are, is writing songs, you know, you take 20, 30 minutes a day to write a song. If you're trying to meditate, start with five, 10 minutes a day, and try to meditate. Just get back into that. If you're trying to get back into doing your rituals and your spiritual work, do a little bit at a time, you know, to kind of get back into that momentum. You don't have to just overwhelm yourself and try to get something done. Nothing's going to get done in a day. So even if you plant a seed and the seeds are planted at night, they're planted when no one else is looking. They're planted under the moon. Okay. And then the sun is what grows it. So that's the energy that I'm feeling that, that you are in. And I think that is fantastic, wonderful, that that abundance is coming in for you. It really is. You have to really believe it. You have to really do your affirmations and your mantras. Even if you do not believe it in the moment, you have to uh, practice and train uh, your subconscious and your conscious and re retrain uh reprogram certain conditions and certain things that you uh, heard growing up or was taught, especially if individuals think that the idea that, that you want to do is not going to happen. The craziest ideas is what makes this world go round, right? Because if somebody believed that a plane was never going to fly, or if somebody really believed that a car was, you know, was never going to be invented. Th those, these things wouldn't be here right now, right? All right, so then we have the Seven of Swords. So this is very sneaky, um, deceptive energy. Um, and this could be going back to the Mercury retrograde, that this energy is coming back to you, you know. What is that saying with the devil? When you are in that devil energy, you're in that lower energy. And as soon as you want to get out of it, 
smoking, uh, drugs, you know, what, whatever it is, uh, any type of addictions, any type of bad behavior, uh, greediness, just uh, procrastination, and you're ready to change those ways and raise up, here goes, here goes that sneaky energy coming back into your life and that can come in any type of any type of forms whether that person even knows that they are doing that to you on a conscious level that energy could be brought to them and brought to you and that's that's your distraction right now right there to stop you uh for going forward what you want to go for and that's saying um the crabs in a bucket. You know, you're trying to elevate out of this group that you're in, community that you're in, um, family, lifestyle, and here you go. And they, uh-uh, uh-uh, where, where are you going? Uh-uh, you belong right down here with us. So be careful of deceptive energy. If this energy is deceptive of you, where you, individuals may um, accuse you of this, because now you're getting quiet, you know, now you're doing things, I, I like to call it in the lab, you know, like, like you, you, biology, chemistry is a chemist, you know, you put in your potions, you know, you, you got your vision, your vision board, you have, you know, uh, a blueprint written out, you have a goal for yourself each day or every other day, you know, you start with these tiny goals and then you work your way to the next one and to the next one and to the next one. And if certain individuals is just like, well, damn, where is so-and-so at? I haven't seen them. You know, you may be appearing. Oh, my nose is itching. You may be appearing um, a little sneaky like you're trying to get away with something. But you know what? That That's all right. Don't let nobody trick you into, into that. You are trying to get away with something. You're trying to get away from that damn lower ass, funky ass energy. And if you're trying to get away from addictions, by all means, if you need to check yourself into a rehab, whatever self-love that you have to do for you, you do that for you at this time. And you're being supported. You're going to be supported at this time if you take that type of leap or any type of leap. If you are taking a leap where... You're setting yourself up financially where you are saving that money. Like when we were seeing for the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Because if you want to get yourself, let's say you can save six months worth of rent or six months worth of uh, your mortgage. but And you're ready to leave your job. You're setting yourself up so... You know, you're not living paycheck to paycheck or even when you pay uh, one of your bills, one of your um, a light bill or any type of bill, phone bill, and you're putting 20 to 30 dollars more to the bill. So you're always ahead of the bill. So if something was to happen, we are in this this time where, you know, people don't want to take the vacation. They're being let go. You've already established enough money that, you know, you at least have a plan. You got a six months to a, a year plan of your rent money and, and your bills. Trust me, have that faith in the universe. You are going to establish another job because you know what? When, when, when it comes from the heart and you resign from the heart and your higher self, you're not in the energy of despair. You're not in the energy of greed. You're not in the energy of desperation. You're not in the energy of surviving where you would do just anything for a dollar bill. You're in the energy of abundance and prosperity, uh, copacornia, right? That's the frequency that you are in. That's what you're putting out and that's what you're going to receive back. And you better know that and you better damn well believe that. Then we have the two of pentacles. So again, like I previously was feeling, these are like energies that are jumping back and forth. We have the energy of, if you are in this despair energy, you 
going to have to, it's you. Nobody is going to knock on your door. Nobody is going to take you by the hand. And sadly enough, I don't care how many people you know, successful people you know, you know what the sad thing is? People want to see you do well, but they damn sure don't want to see you do better than them. You got family members that already got it together. They see you trying to get it together. They see you putting something together and they not saying, hey, you know what? Let me show you X, Y, Z. They are really okay with watching you fall on your effing ass. That's effed up. But you know what? That's cool. That's life. You are going to appreciate and honor that you did it with yourself, but it takes more than yourself. There's a team that's going to come in. There's... um support that's going to come in and support is not always your blood you know once you can get that out of your mind or or any of that kind of victim mentality like well this is my spouse or this is my baby mother my baby father they should help me this is my sister brother cousin aunt uncle mother father no it's just not like that sometimes everybody does not have that kind of support sometimes. It has to start with you. That's where it starts. Okay. And then we have the uh, six of swords. I really can't tell if this is showing up, guys. I apologize if it's not. I'm just putting it in the camera. But out of respect. And um, I know a lot of people like the visual. Okay. Um, so with the six of swords... You are moving towards what you want to move towards. You are moving away from what you want to move away from. You are moving away from bad relationship, bad abusive relationships. You're moving away from anything that is toxic, anything that just no longer serves you. I can say this list on and on and on and on. You know what it is. You feel what it is. And... When you are out of that situation, the weight that is going to come off of your shoulder, you're going to feel so much lighter that you've actually sacrificed something for yourself other than sacrificing for other individuals. So that's going to be that with the tarot and let's see, we'll do the... Um, I don't know if I'm going to do love just yet, but I feel like the love, um, I don't know if I'm really guided towards it. I'll, I'll see where spirit is bringing me. Spirit really is saying just keep going this route only because with the Mercury retrograde, a lot of exes are going to come in. This really isn't the energy of um, new romance. Listen, it could be nothing is sketched in stone. If you don't like the energy of something, if you don't like something that's being told to you, you have free will um, to change to change your perspective, change your energy, and um, you know, do what feels do what feels right to you. But I'm more feeling like this is having to do with some money. This is having to do with uh, boundaries. Really, really having strong boundaries at this time. What are you allowing into your cipher? What are you allowing into your life? You know, are you allowing things to drain you? You have to have these real honest conversations with this, with yourself. You Listen, go to that mirror, look yourself square in the eyes and have this conversation. You're going to lie to yourself can't lie to the universe. You cannot lie to the most high. Most high knows your heart. So, you know, it's time to get right. Get right with yourself. It's time to get right with others. You know, if, if, and during this Mercury retrograde, if it's, if, if it's you, you know, you may even have people come back to you that apologize to you for things that they did to you years ago. And, and, you know, they just ghosted you. You know, yeah, you moved on, you live, you survive, you know. Anybody gonna die because you ghost somebody. Those are usually insecure individuals who don't have proper communicational skills. 
they're not emotionally sound. Some of them are dealing with mental illnesses. You know, we got to have this compassion for people sometimes. You know, love and compassion and forgiveness, that don't mean they got to be back in your energy or back in your space. Like, you know, I love you. I hope you do well. You know, I don't have any ill will, but you may just not be somebody that is just around you anymore. And that's okay. All right. So let's see what messages we have. Let's see how many came out. All right. We'll see what this is. Navigating by the stars and follow your bliss. So this is a journey that, I mean, this card is very dark. Maybe I could try to get that in there. Some people never seen these cards. Okay. Following your bliss. Somebody got to um, get up and leave in the middle of the night. This is what I'm saying. There's such an energy that I'm picking up on, you know, and I, I don't want to be in an energy of wanting to scare anybody. If you are dealing with somebody that is, can potentially harm you, have harmed you. If you are saving this money, save, listen, everybody doesn't need to know how many accounts you have. You need to have Somebody needs to have a, a secret stash somewhere if they got to go. And you know what? Not even if this is a relationship. Anything, the, the stuff that's going on in the world right now, I don't know why people waiting to hear CNN and these news channels to tell you what to do. You're going to have to really tap into your own bliss. You're going to have to really tap into your God self and you're going to really have to tap into your intuition. If you are somewhere where your community is a dangerous community, okay? And you've been raising your frequency. These dark beings, individual, you are like um, the moth to the light, you know, when the bugs want to get to that light. Now you're drawing stuff to you. You may need to protect you and your family, somebody, and you may need to go get a hotel and stay in that hotel for 30 days. Until it's time for you to move. Okay? Okay, somebody... It, this is very specific. Somebody, this is very detailed. Who needs to hear that? And I don't I don't know who needs to get that warning. Whoever you are, man or woman, family, put your money away. Have some cash on hand. You may not get to the ATM. Shoot, we don't even know if there might be a blackout. You don't need... Have some cash on hand. If there's somewhere you need to get out of your city, you need to get out of your town or even your neighborhood or wherever it is, or if there's a fight, there's something going on and you need to get you and your babies or just get you and yourself somewhere safe, this is what needs to happen. You need to follow your bliss. You need to, that, that means your peace. That means you need to follow where you are guided to do and not be concerned. Sometimes people stay in certain uh, city, town, or state because their, their, their adult children are there or their grandparents or their parents are still there. I get that. I, I really, really, really do. But at some point, you're going to have to follow your soul's path and be guided there because if not, there's, there's a um, repeated cycle that is going to keep happening until you do. It's almost like not listening to your parent when your parent told you don't put your damn hand on the stove. It's hot. And then you do and you burn yourself. It's not any different. Mystic healer. Healing energy flows through you. So there's optimal health. There's uh, healing that is happening. You are really going within at this time. This is another card that is dealing with the night underneath the moon. You may talk to the moon. You may talk to the stars. You know, this is something you may meditate outside. You know, you may be somebody that resonates where you're more awake at night. Um, you may, a lot of individuals may even be having insomnia um, where they can't sleep and your mind is just going, just going, just going. You really want to try to... Uh, Tap into the different hurts 
and the guided meditations just to bring um, that noise down and to be able to just sit still and just get some of the answers that you need, you know, because all the energy, all the healing energy that you need, it is flowing through you. You can feel it. You can feel it. You know, you are not delusional. You are not crazy. You may be hypersensitive right now if you are empath and you're feeling other people's emotions, other people's uh, pains and sorrows. Uh, it is something that you want to continue to bring things into you that make you feel happy. Whatever that is and that gets you to that happy place, that is the healing energy that needs to happen to you right now. The universe wants you to know that. Uh, the archangels want you to know that. Your ancestors, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, if I didn't already say that. Okay? And then we have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Yeah. You really have to live in the present right now. You really have to feel the joy and the delight of your loved ones the ones that you that do love you. If you got five friends, love on those five friends. If you got three, so so multiply. If you you know your children, just really, no matter what you're going through. How do I say this? I'm seeing somebody that is really going through like a checkbook or. Somebody that's going through their finances, somebody that's, you know, counting their money, counting their money all over again. Um, Peter's, Peter's paying Paul. You know, you're really trying to figure out these finances. I'm trying to tell you, this is why you was guided here. You wasn't guided here for no reason. You're really going to have to get out of that lack mentality because all that's doing is, is continuing bringing that to you. You want to, if you have children or nieces and nephews, you really want to spend time with them or even our pets. You really want to spend time with, with that type of energy that is uh, fluent, that type of energy that is carefree, it's unconditional love. It has that innocence of a child where they are, they're not, they're not worried at all. I'm not saying don't get your affairs in order. But if this is really affecting your sleep, this is affecting your health, okay? This is somebody that it's really, um, you're biting when you're sleeping. Somebody is biting, they're grinding their teeth at night. They're, it's, it's affecting um, their mouth area. It's affecting, and, and, and somebody's um, with their throat chakra, it's really tight in here. Like I'm feeling it get really tight in here that that somebody is really boiling all of this stress of this the finances and if this is individuals where you and your partner or you're having to split bills with somebody and you're the one that's actually stepping up but they're not Whew, just you know You're really going to have to start taking a deep breath and having multiple plans. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. Have a backup plan. Um, I'm, I'm even getting a little lightheaded. I'm just going to have some more water. Whoever this is, this energy, because, you know, people do control people with money don't allow yourself to get controlled by money even if you gotta take one of those water jugs and start putting change in that and letting that build up okay be the frequency of currency you are the frequency of currency and you have to understand that and you have to believe that at this time okay and 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 Get your power back. Call your name. Call your name out. Bring your power back. Okay? And have that faith. 
that you are going to be guided, you're going to be taken care of. You know, and if there's money coming in from anywhere, you know, you may have to, you know, just have some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a little while. You may just have to have some soup, some potatoes, and some rice. Listen, also right now is the time to start storing up on things. Okay? I'm not going to really get into all of that, but that's just what Spirit is guiding me to say at this time. This this message here, I'm just allowing the most high source is coming to me, using me as a vessel. I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very humble for that. At, at. I'm very, very, very humble. You know, I, I just really, um, I'm really sending a lot of love and light to any, any individuals that are struggling right now or you know, they don't really have um, full access to their funds. You have individuals where their money is, is being held up somewhere. All right. So if there's anything, again, not to be in a desperate energy, you know, if there's a talent you have, if there's something you can make, if there's something um, that you can sell, if you have some sort of service, you know, this is something to start looking into. This is the time to do it right now. You are being guided. And we'll just get um, one or two messages from this is the Moonology Oracle deck. If you're working with the moon, you may resonate with the moon. Find out what your, um, what your moon sign is in your natal chart. Find out what your north node is. And work with that, work with that sign, work with those attributes, and work with that that energy. Okay, all right, three came out. Thank you, spirit. Don't let your past hold you back. Self node, find out your self node as well. Do not let your past hold you back. And this has been this whole reading. Okay, spirit is coming through. Spirit is uh, giving this information to you. Emotions are running high. <laughs> it's like what I was saying. I mean, I, I can't really make this up. I'm, I'm clear cognizant. Um, it says super moon. So very hyper, hyper uh, sensitivity right now. You may be feeling symptoms that are not even yours. You're feeling emotions where you're feeling really high and then you're feeling really no, low, feeling really happy and then really angry or really sad. You know, a lot of a lot of crying going on. And again, these past individuals coming back to you, some of them is going to trigger you. Find out what these triggers are and heal these triggers. Protect yourself and put these boundaries up and let these individuals know, no, no, no. You don't have access to my energy anymore. Okay? And then be gentle with yourself. Be gentle. It's unconditional love. It's healing. It takes time. Everything doesn't happen overnight. And when you open up that heart chakra, those inner child situations, um, any type of wounds, anything that you didn't even uh, uh, remember, it could have been something that happened to you on the playground. It could have been anything when you was a child and you got separated from your family and you got lost or you was with your family you know, anything. I'm just, I'm hearing different scenarios could have happened to you as a child. You know, everybody wasn't so traumatic, you know, but each individual situation is something to them, right? Nobody is like, well, my story is worse than your story. It, it doesn't matter. You could have been three years old and the pet that you had died and that was your first experience with death and that has carried you into this perception of death and you're 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 afraid who i mean it, it's just so many and i really um spirit is just really saying just during this time right now have this compassion for yourself have this infinite love for yourself like you've never had before 
you know, and just love all sentient, all sentient beings, you know, we're all on this planet going through something. It's going to be up. It's going to be down. We're, this is a two dimensional realm as above, so below. And it says, what do you need to release waning moon? And this overall message is what do you need to release? Write that question down and answer it honestly. Look in the mirror and answer that honestly. What do you need to release? And when you find out what it is that you release, you fill it in with something that you love. If you love uh, playing instruments. You love, listen, if you just love sitting on the couch and binge watching um, some Netflix shows, if, that's, if that brings you your peace, that, then that is it. Whatever you release, you bring something in. You love writing, you know, um, you love sewing, knitting, you love exercising, whatever that is to you that brings you fulfillment is what you want to bring in at this time. And these are the messages that are for you, whether they resonate or not, please come back to these later. See if they resonate, if they resonate now. I hope a message was sent and I am so appreciative to be able to deliver that message to you guys. You know, love and light, you take care of yourself. Until next time.